What's going on? My name is Adin, also known as Lamppost Picker. We're gonna go through, get some thrifts done. Here with my beautiful wife, Melinda. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, we are full-time resellers in the great state of Michigan. It's chilly out today. We are hitting that weather. We're also gonna hit some thrift stores today. We're gonna take you along, see what we can find. And we had another amazing sales weekend. We are gonna hit the highlights of what sold this weekend. Another thousand dollar sales day. These are becoming very common. It's very good. Tag along with us. Let's go find some money. Let's go get this done. Let's get started. Let's do it. First Goodwill. Hopefully everything has tags on it. We've parked far away because we don't want any of our friends or family to know what we do for a living. This is a secret location. No one knows about this one located at 2345 East Beltline, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Except for all these people. For, except for some of our competition here. I actually came here last night, found some decent stuff, but they were restocking pretty heavily. So we'll see if uh, we can find some lunch money. First Goodwill, nice and fresh. I look at the jeans. The first one I find here is Mech Denim. These tend to do okay. This is a boyfriend style, obviously in the wrong section. These are women's. I did look these up later. Uh, for six bucks, I thought, hey, if they're worth like 30 plus ship, I'll pick them up. So I put them in a cart. Go right back at it. Uh, I don't spend a lot of time in clothing because I don't have the patience like Melinda does to rifle through stuff, but I'm just looking quickly. This is literally just the pace that I look at. I did find these jeans here. Here we go. These ones right here. These are Hudson. Hudson for women don't tend to sell like they used to because all the uh, famous rich people in Hollywood apparently stopped wearing it or whatever. These are USA made men's Hudson, Hudson's. I did look them up. They have a really good sell through rate. Should be able to get 30 plus ship all day on them. Let's check in with Mel. I'm going through the dresses and this is actually a very difficult section for me because my arms were hurting. Uh, Dean came to check. The, oh, my, one of my favorites, Athleta. It's a very classic style with Athleta, comfy, cozy, stretchy material. Usually I'm looking for those. This was an anthropology brand. It's Saturday, Sundays. It was very style specific. That's what you would be looking for for a J. Crew store tag, that black one right there. I lo would look great if that tie-dye was my size. I love tie-dye. Looks like Adine found some shoes. You found these. These are a nice pair of Converse. Need a little bit of cleaning for six bucks. Good 25, 30 plus ship out the door. Then go me, I stand corrected. This beautiful piece right here is a hot topic. So all those grunge rock punk lovers out there, they know what I'm talking about. This board game isn't anything special, but I think I can sell the replacement pieces for about 15, 20 bucks total. I'm only paying four bucks for it. If it is complete, it's worth about $30 plus ship. Nothing crazy here, but sometimes, you know, pieces do sell individually. More Torrid. Uh, I love a good Torrid haul. They had some great dresses at this one. They were longer length. Uh, I think a Bowden stuck in there as well. I always pick up those if they're in the dresses. I don't always pick up their pants anymore. There's that Athleta. This is a Flying Tomato. That's a brand where the style was very specific. And another very classic Athleta. When you're seeing these like jersey dresses, that's usually what I'm looking for. This is a free people dress. It's a sweater dress. Not all free people is created the same, but since it's fall, seems like it'll do okay. Done with stop one. We spent 57 bucks. We did have some returns because our Goodwill chain is better than yours. They do allow returns within seven days. Raw reaction, Melinda. First stop. I think it's a good haul. I really actually enjoy that we're doing more dresses now or that we're picking up more dresses because I Think of them as shoes. They're a really good return for what we pay at our thrift stores. What is it, six, six bucks a piece? Yeah, six bucks for dress. And you, the ones I pick up will sell between 35 and to 45. Sometimes you get a banger in there. Uh, what was the that funky punk dress? What was the brand? Hot Topic. Hot Topic. You don't find Hot Topic every day, but that was a pretty no. cool one. Uh, we're gonna for have, those of oh. you who were born after Hot Topic, it feels so old all of a sudden. Uh, so it was, used to be like this uh, grunge, punk, rock store in malls. It had a, it was its own brand and it was like... It's still there. It's just sort it? of, yeah. yeah. There's oh, one it's just not as like, popular, mall. I guess. But yeah, yeah hard, it's rare to see it now. Yeah, for sure. All right, on to the next one. Let's see if we can find more treasure. While we're on the way to the next Goodwill, I thought I would address a question slash comment that we had on one of our recent videos. 
Lisa Lib writes, can you show us your photo studio? Tips on how to photo items quickly. You two are amazing at pushing through items quickly. We can show you where we take photos when we get home. It's nothing fancy, we just use regular lamp lights with a white fur rug as far as clothing and just sheets for our hard goods. As far as pushing through to get them done quickly, there's no secret in that. It's just doing the work and batching. We've talked about batching before. You wanna do like items at the same time. So if you're switching between doing clothes and doing hard goods back and forth, that's going to eat up a lot of time. Whereas if you have your hard goods process ready to go, you can just pull and photograph. Same with clothing, it's there. You're just pulling one item in, taking the photos, putting it into a bin, and then pulling the next piece. One thing that might be good advice there is don't pick up items that you really hate going through because then you're just gonna put it off and you're not gonna get to them and they're gonna sit there. So just be picky about what you pick up in essence because even if something is worth, 40 50 dollars if you don't take photos of it and you don't get around to listing it it's not worth anything it's just wasted space hope that helps and we will show you our setup when we get back stop number two always nice to see all the fresh racks of clothing just sitting there waiting for us to pick through them so it'll be exciting let's see what we can find at the second thrift store i find a nice pair of merrells here i pick them up i'm sorry we got technical difficulties with these microphones so one that's not going to be on this part of the voice forward these are worth about 30 plus ship put them in the buggy right below it a nice pair of nike air max make sure that the bubble in the back is not popped if it is they're worthless these are worth about 40 50 plus shipping stay tuned in a little while you're going to see the jackpot of nike shoes it was crazy all at one stop these boots were pretty worthless. I thought they were Merrells at first, but they're not. They're an off-brand. I put them back above it, another off-brand. I looked these up in the past. They're not worth much. But right next to it, LeBron James Irish Nikes. Excellent condition. Need to be cleaned up a little bit. They're worth about 40 plus shipping. Right next to that, a nice pair of Specialized shoes. If you see Specialized, that S is what it stands for. If you see Specialized S works, it's worth even more. These are good for about 40 plus shipping. Pop them into the basket. These ASICs were pretty beat up. Just wanted to show you how picky we are. Leave those right behind electronics oh my goodness we're rich look at all these electronics there's a reason why it's all still sitting here it's because nobody wants dvd players i'm looking for dvd recorders these are players 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 there's streaming apps netflix hulu disney nobody wants this stuff go over to melinda she found our first ever champion reverse weave these are worth about 40 maybe a little bit more if they're immense they're worth more rapid round we find some torrid or i'm sorry some hot topics some torrid some uh, pink. We don't pick up a lot of Victoria's Secret pink, but this had a big dog in the front and a huge hit in the back. It was like a long sweater, cozy type piece. More Torrid, more Torrid, and more Torrid. On to the next Goodwill stop we go. That was a nice stop. We found some more dresses, a good amount of Torrid. Also another hot topic randomly because you generally don't see that brand a lot at all. Good shoes. I think found these awesome Air Max as you probably saw earlier. We are gonna probably hit up one more very quick. Maybe I won't even grab a cart and then head home. Get to packing. The one thing I really enjoy about social media is that we learn from a lot of other resellers. So for this champion, reverse weave we would have never really known that that has value unless we've seen it from other people so that was nice this is a lebron james irish uh, nike shoe i was hesitant to pick it up because it's a bit dirty but uh the selling you know they sell really well they're good otherwise condition and then um the other one i just briefly wanted to talk about was this camo pair it's a uh, not the greatest brand but it's a 6x and because of the huge size on them i think it'll sell really well it's a gander mountain 6x and it's hunting season so they should fly off for like you know 35 maybe 40 shipped or something like that and then there was one more there was a pair of express jeans and i think one that took the other ones they were a buckle black they were pretty distressed but that's okay and then i found a sony speaker that's for us we spent a total of 165 dollars at that one a lot of good bread and butter, solid pieces that should flip very quickly. So very happy with that. We usually make our trip money back within one to two days. So that's a great turnaround rate. Okay, stop a row, number row, uno row. Or three, stop three. That's what I meant to say. Predictions? 
think it'll be good. All right. Like cart. You've heard it from one the first. We're grabbing a cart. It's going to be good. Let's try our best. Top three, I beat out another reseller to all these Nikes. I couldn't get any footage because it was right to the shoes. Look at these. They're like brand new shoes. A whole cart within three minutes. There was two other resellers at them, but I got long arms and a good reach. And I'm respectful and kind, so I got the best deal. I go over to the electronics section. Fantastic. Two VCRs, one on top of each other. That's the way I like to see them. They're even stacked for you. Stacked for me. It's beautiful. Five and seven bucks appropriately, respectfully. I don't know what word I'm trying to use here. No big deal. I'm going to put them on the floor. Then I'm going to lift them right into the cart on top of my beautiful stack of lovely Nike shoes. Nothing else in this section that I saw worthwhile. I did peek at the tennis rackets, but they're all pretty cheap. Onto the pants and jeans. Bam. Brand new. Carhartt. Can you believe it? 40 bucks at the store, seven bucks or six bucks here at the Goodwill. I look over, look at the pace that I'm looking at these pants. This is not fast forwarded. A brand new pair of Dickies. Yeah, sure, I'll take them. Easy 25 bucks plus shipping, carpenter pants. Notice that I'm not spending a lot of time here. I'm just rifling through quickly. I know what I'm looking for. I know most of these pants are not good sellers. I look over here, Carhartt again, like new condition. I'll pick those up any day. I did find some Wolverine Carpenters, not as good sellers, some Levi's, blah, blah, blah. Nothing special here. I'm not going to spend a lot of time looking up all these uh, brands because they're just simply not good sellers after two years of experience. That was absolutely bonkers. I couldn't get any footage of grabbing those shoes because there's another reseller next to me. Also, shout out to John who just introduced himself in the thrift store. So many Nikes like new. It was just unreal. Let me show you a sneak peek. So we spent it. We spend it. We spent $227, which I'm pretty sure is a record. Um, I have no idea. I talked to their manager. He thinks that somebody that maybe was a sponsored runner by Nike just donated literally their barely worn like shoes. Uh, the jeans, it looks like Mona just found one piece and she found a Patagonia. Uh, these are gonna have to go in the back seat. But yeah, come on over, look at these. These are crazy condition, like just like new. And so many of them. Wow. And they're all nice big size too. I think I missed out on like four pair. Another lady came to start shopping my cart and she's like, can I look through these with you? And she couldn't believe that I was buying all of them and uh, left a little bit upset. It happens. But hey, luck of the draw. We're home now, and this is all the stuff that we just... No, this is literally all of our sales. Another record broken. We sold 60 items, or we made 60 sales. We're going to cover just some of the highlights. There's no way we can pound through 60 of them. It would make a very long video. But to follow up on that photography station uh, question, this is what we use. This is as simple as it gets. These are from Walmart. These are just ultra white light bulbs. These were like 10 bucks each. There's three of them for decent uh, lighting. This is the same board we've been using for like two years from 10 bucks from Hobby Lobby. This is from the Dollar Tree. This is just a white um, crappy, what is this called? Uh, tablecloth. Table tablecloth, yeah, it's a white crappy tablecloth. We were using bed sheets, so literally like it doesn't matter. And this is the rug that we use down there when we do clothing, we just do uh, flat lays on the floor. Packing station here, and that's it, this is it. This is what sold us over $250,000. Simplicity. Nothing crazy, no studio lights, nothing like that. We sold a decent amount of electronics this weekend. We love selling vintage electronics when we can get it for the right deal. You have to be mindful that this stuff has to be working properly for you to make money, except for when there's such a demand for items like this realistic receiver that it doesn't matter if it's working because you can still make money selling it. Working, I, I think I saw comms for about $200 or $300 plus shipping, if not more. And what people do is either they repair them or they part them out and then they sell the parts, which is fine with me. I just want it gone. This unit sold for $79 with free shipping. It's gonna cost a decent amount to ship, probably around 30 bucks. But the nice thing is that it's going in state here in Michigan, so it probably is gonna be around $25 with UPS ground. Sony, a world recognized brand. There's two Sony pieces that sold this weekend. First, this five disc CD exchange system. Easy to look up. You just type in the CD PCE375 in the search engine. It is going out to California, so it's gonna be around that $30 ship mark, which is fine. We build that into the price. 
it's sold for $120 free shipping. We only paid 10 bucks for it, so obviously plenty of margin to be made. And then this simple Panasonic VCR with AV cables and the remote sold. And it's going to Virginia. That sold for $80. Again, free ship, it'll cost about 15. It's pretty small. These Atari controllers also sold this weekend. We got these for about $7.50 off of a personal contact of ours. I wasn't able to test them. One of them had some corrosion on it. So I sold it as parts. I sent out an offer for 35 and someone accepted. So those are going out. And then finally, this little Sony here is a Sony Handycam. A couple of accessories that go with this one. It's just a little Handycam in here. I'll show you the photo and what it sold for. These Sony Handycams can be a really good seller if you can pick them up for cheap. This one sold for 140 bucks and I paid 15 for it. So obviously a nice, nice sale there. Here's a picture showing that it's working, uh, all the angles so that the buyer sees exactly what they're getting. It did have the cable and I did throw in the manual and the uh, one blank tape so that you know they're ready to shoot if they're going to actually make film on it. This one took a little bit longer than usual but that's A-OK. -okay. This stuff does take a little bit of labor to package up, you know, especially the realistic. It's probably like 40 pounds by itself. Plenty of bubble wrap, bigger boxes, you can do it. The first clothing sale I'm covering is a viewer sale. It's going to Deb and she watches our YouTube channel and she was just so nice. She sent me a message on Posh and I gave her a offer on a bundle. So she has two torrid pieces coming her way. This flannel sort of tie in front top, which is one of my favorite torrid finds and a very trendy pair of jeans. We sold those for $47. Thank you, Deb, they're headed your way. Another posh sale, I accepted an offer on this mauve anthropology dress that I picked up last week. I just, I've really been very aggressive on accepting offers if they're reasonable and I'm going to make a decent profit because I just don't want clothing to sit. If it sits more than a couple weeks, it's probably gonna sit a long time and then I have to store it. This Athleta dress sold on Mercari for $34, free shipping, within about an hour after I listed it. I picked it up at Goodwill for $6. It was hanging on a new rack that I jumped over and grabbed while Adine was standing in the checkout line. So it was a great pickup, fast sale. The Madewell sweater that I was wearing in the last video did end up selling. I took an offer of $40 on Mercari. Tempted to keep it, but $40 is a great, I had it for a day, wore it. It's on its way to a new home. I hope they love it as much as I did. Back over on Poshmark, we ended up selling this Rab outerwear jacket for $40. They'll pay shipping on that. Good outdoor brand to keep your eye out for. We got this for free at that lady's garage sale when she just gifted us the leftovers. The last clothing sale I'm going to show you came from Mercari. This was a $135 sale. We are gonna cover shipping on it. It is a higher quality, heavier weight jacket. These NASCAR jackets do sell well. We figured out the name of the driver. This one has a lot of embroidery, a lot of patches. The more, the better it seems with these jackets, so keep your eye out for these. Here are all of the shoes that sold for us this weekend. We had a nice amount of shoe sales. Really happy with that as we love selling used shoes and obviously new shoes if we can get our hands on it. They're super easy to identify. They're super easy to clean, to process. It's all easy peasy lemon squeezy. I'm going to cover the five that are in the back here because those were some of the better ones. First ones were these Longhorn ostrich boots. Uh, thank you guys in the audience for identifying these for us. These sold for $45 plus they pay for shipping on Facebook. The same Goodwill we went to, we also found these Merrill ski shoes. They sold on Facebook as well for $39 with them paying shipping. And then this one sold on two platforms. It sold on Facebook and eBay. eBay, they sold on their first and then they sold on Facebook. Remember, we did find these brand new with tags, which is awesome. And we did pay up for them. We paid 20, but they sold for 130 shipped. They are going to Utah, so it's going to be a little bit, you know, a little bit to ship them, probably around that $30 mark. But we're happy to make a net profit of at least 65 bucks. These ones here, I'm going to have to give credit to Melinda or give credit where credit is due because I was a little bit skeptical. I looked at these, I was like, I don't know, they seem kind of cheap, they're a bit worn, they're Clarks, like what's the big deal here? Look at the price these sold for. 
$42 for this pair of shoes, plus they pay shipping. 42 bucks for these. I, I Honestly, I'm not even acting here. I couldn't believe it. Cloud Steppers by Clarks. Apparently a very well sought after shoe. I did know about these ones here. I found four or five pair of Uggs all in one Goodwill one day, which is really crazy. Ugg, fantastic, fantastic brand to flip. Condition on these obviously is excellent. I paid eight bucks. Sold them on Poshmark for $50 and they're gonna pay shipping on them. Super exciting to get them moved so quickly. I think we have one pair of Uggs left for that haul. The rest of them here are pretty, you know, standard um, sales anywhere. Most of them in that $40 shipped range. These Birkenstocks, $39 shipped. They're missing the laces, so I was happy to send out an offer and get them sold fast. These Nike Air Max are a beautiful pair. To, I found with a bunch of really nice shoes. They finally sold for us. These Adidas cycling shoes. Cycling shoes just do really well. You saw us in the last video pick up these Tool Dance Goes that sold super fast. These Asics sold super fast. We love this stuff. I'm gonna get this stuff packed up. One more segment of amazing sales than one that's gonna show you. So I'm getting all these shoes uh, packed up and a couple things I wanted to say. One, notice that I'm not leaving this space, right? So what I'm doing here is just working in one, one space. I don't need to move. I just need to move my giant body, which again, I have a little bit of an advantage. But I'm doing that because it's easier on my body and it's a lot faster than me closing one thing, then making a box. I packed these shoes. I'm gonna write what they are. It's gonna get covered by a label. Notice I'm not closing the box, I'm just putting it down because if I were to close that box, it would require me to move, which wastes my time, right? So think about that. As you continue to build your business, do things in these batches because it's gonna be better for you in the long term. If you learn it now, when you scale up to 100 sales per day, you're going to get a lot better at it than to shuffle around. Okay, I get these shoes, then I'm going to get the Atari, then I'm going to do this. The other thing too is please don't give up on eBay. Don't give up on reselling in general. You're going to give up before the good times come in. That's what happens. It's been two years. This, it took us two years, most of it part-time, to get 60 sales on a weekend. So please don't give up. Keep going. Keep getting better. That's what we're doing. We pretend every single day this is our first day in this business and we are novices and we continue to learn. That's the only way to get better. Please don't give up. Another strong selling category is vintage toys, especially, especially around the holiday season. These all sold this weekend. Let's go through what they are. The first is a Bop It. These always sell very quickly for us. This was from a store buyout between the $25, $30 range. So you don't want to pay too much for them, but they are quick sellers. This one was kind of a see-through red, which is pretty cool. Uh, so $30 for us out the door. Also from a store bio is this vintage Riddler figure. Again, quick sell for $45. He does have some blemishing, which is to expect to be expected with these older toys, but great condition otherwise. These are those little green aliens that were in the toy dispenser in the Toy Story movie, if you recognize those. We sold two sets of these. They sold the same day they went up. They're just very small. Here they are against my hand for reference. There's two sets of them for $18 each to the same person. So we'll be able to combine shipping for $36 total sale. The little aliens were from the $650 toy buyout that we did earlier this year. So are these picks, pickup sticks. I don't I don't know what's the fun in picking up sticks. I've never played this before, but classic game. Sold for $15. It is light, so it should go first class. Again, as with all, most of these, very quick. From the $650 store buyout, we sold this Fat Albert character. 
just himself for $19 free ship. Again, that'll be first class. The last one from that toy store haul was this Galaxy Series type toy. I'm not sure what, if this is like a TV series or just was like a popular toy, but it's sealed in the box, sold for $27. We're gonna pay shipping. I did make a deal to sell these three vintage horses for $60 free shipping. It's going international. It, I did have a little bit of research to do to figure out the names of these horses, but that definitely helped. Oops. Adine and I both had several messages on these asking if we would split them up. We did just, when you do that, you have to retake those separate photos and then the photos of the ones that are left and it just, we refused. So we're very happy that these are finally all sold together and they'll be shipping out together. We found these at a garage sale this summer. We're already in the profit on what we paid for a whole box of vintage toy horses. We were just wrapping up shipping. As you can see, our shipping station's full. We're really proud of ourselves, of our work ethic. This has been, you know, a long time in the making, uh, getting this much out the door. We got the knives left. What Munda's doing now is she's bubble wrapped all the knives that we sold. We didn't show them, but we sold two sets. I'll pop them up here on the screen. And she's just gonna use these empty tubes to protect them and then throw those tubes in a bag to protect it against moisture. So that's what she's doing. Let's uh, end this video here with some numbers. So a couple of records broken once again, which is obviously a fantastic thing. Number of sales over a three day weekend. We consider Friday, Saturday, Sunday, our weekend sales. Uh, our definition so 60 right. sales uh, pretty crazy but that doesn't matter what matters is the amount that's right which was $2,358 he said that again $2,358 almost $800 a day but it's just awesome because Friday was awful. It was like 260 in gross sales. And then so Saturday was amazing. And then yesterday was very yeah. solid. So Saturday was our thousand dollar sales day. We sold over $1,200 on that day alone, yeah. which I think is probably another record. Might be. If, I think we're right around that like 1,200 is maybe 1,400 is the record. I'll have to check, maybe, yeah. check the data. But uh, again, shout out to American Bubble Boy. Uh, check them out. Link below if you guys want to get quality bubble wrap delivered uh, within two days. They're really awesome. It is an affiliate link. We get a small kickback and no yeah. big deal if you want to give them a shot. Uh, with that said, Mona's going to start labeling. I'm going to head over to the editing table, get this video ready for you guys. Love you guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you do like this type of content, don't forget to subscribe. We put out three videos a week at least currently. Give us a thumbs up. Just helps us to grow the videos, helps us to grow our channel. Until next one. Take, take care. care. Thank you.